Okay guys, we're down here in the shop today. It's Tuesday. Uh, we did not do any work in the shop last, yesterday, Monday, as it was Labor Day. Hope everyone had a great, great Labor Day holiday and stayed safe. Uh, we got everything washed up mm, Sunday morning. We went through the motor. Uh, we took the carburetor off. There was a little bit of dirt down in the intake. We cleaned all that out. We took the plugs out of the motor blew the motor out, uh, stuck a vacuum cleaner on each spark plug hose uh, hole and sucked as much dirt out of there in the intake as we could. Uh, we talked to Wendell. He said just clean the carburetor up real good. Uh, he wasn't too concerned about it. Uh, I mean, well, obviously he was concerned about it, but he don't feel like we've done any damage is what I'm getting at. So uh, we done all those checks we cleaned up everything and we we put everything back together we fired it up sunday after we got done washing it everything sounded fine it ran fine uh, didn't seem to be any issues so motor's good that's what we're gonna say uh, we're gonna try it out this weekend hope hopefully there's no issues that come up at the track i did just pull the radiator out as you can see there we got the radiator out uh I stuck a honeycomb in front of the radiator the last time we pulled the radiator. One of these things right here. It's supposed to keep rocks and dirt and debris from hitting your radiator and bending it up and all that. <coughs> and uh, I believe that's left front, ain't it? Is that a two? Yeah. Yeah, that's left front. But you can see right here, it looks like it just packed the mud up in the radiator more. So that could be part of our overheating issues. Uh, we're going to try to get all that mud out, get it cleaned out good, and try to straighten up some of these fans. And ho hopefully we can improve our cooling. It looks like our cooling is uh, not very good right now. So that could be part of the issue. We're going to take it out here and uh, kind of drop it on the concrete a time or two, get all the loose dirt out of it, and then let it soak in a kiddie pool to let it pull the rest of the dirt out. And once we go from there, we should be should be able to uh, hopefully cool our engines a little bit better. Race into the garage. Even the cat's involved. <laughs> hey, there's Daddy. Do you see my little kitten? You have one. Sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi. They're precious. All right, guys, so we were out here last night and uh, I did not do a good job videoing. Brad worked on the radiator. He done some videos of that and, and I did tires and I just, I didn't turn the video on while I was doing tires. So I did, I think, eight, 10 tires and I didn't video a single one of them except for on my phone for a TikTok video. So anyway, what Brad's doing right now is trying to straighten out some of these fans. Some of these fans kind of got flattened out. So he's trying to make it new again which is a tough job because they're pretty rough but radiators are like $500. It'd be a lot easier to order a new radiator I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. So yeah that's what we're doing right now and uh, as we do different stuff throughout the shop I'll try my very best to do better job videos now. Alright so Brad is getting the radiator back in the car. Okay. Mike, you're gonna have to use both hands. Put the camera back. All right. Hang on. So Brad went to put water in the radiator and he didn't even have the hose on. So now Joel is squeezing water out of here somewhere. The doors ain't open, so it's no, gonna go yeah, somewhere. I'm gonna water, yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move it around till it evaporates. Mm. I guess, I don't know. Yeah. 
Under the hole in the door. That's where that's where it's gonna go. Yeah. Hold on, guys. All right. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, Brad decided the floor needed a good washing. He's cleaning up Daddy's mess. Oh, Daddy made my ass. Alright, so right there under the right rear, he's got the shock taken off. We're going to take shocks like we do every week. Um, and he's also greasing some hums and stuff like that. Um, with some, what is that called, babe? Tri flow? Tri loop. Is it tri loop? No, it's tri flow. Tri flow lube is what we like to use on uh, stuff yeah. like hums. And stuff like that that usually, because WD-40, dirt sticks to. And that's not a good thing when you've got dirt in your homes. This, it doesn't stick to. So this is some really good stuff. You can get it on Amazon. It's fairly cheap. It's not real expensive. But it's called Tri-Flow. It's good stuff. All right, so he's over here. He's just checking nuts and bolts right now and just lubing everything up, making sure everything is turning freely, moving freely like it should. He's already went on the right front. The right rear, and now he's here, and you gotta go to the left, left rear. So, just the normal weekly maintenance. All right, so I got the Hammond Motorsports plates on. I'm just gonna check front end, make sure everything's good as far as toe and all that good stuff. Make sure there, it didn't get knocked out somehow. I know he did make contact with a uh, Jordan Judge going down the back straightaway, but I don't think front end was involved. I think it was just kind of quarter panel for him. But we're gonna check everything and make sure. <clears throat> all right so he's on the spring smasher now I'm not gonna show you the front because i'm not gonna show you any numbers or anything but he is on the spring smasher checking this shock out and uh seeing what changes he needs all right brad was uh <laughs> taking this uh wheel off the off the wheel here and he broke the lead breaker he broke the breaker yeah, he broke the bolt in the breaker. The bolt in the basement. Hey, you break like a basement. Maggie. <laughs> Girl. Hey, you broke it. Hey, you broke it. Yes. Hey, why you broke it? Hey, why you broke it? Why did I break it? Uh -huh. Why'd you break it? Why you break it? You broke it. No, you broke it. Say, put your foot on the floor. Don't go on the furniture. Hey, don't put it on the floor. Hey, don't put it on the floor. Okay. Uh, okay, don't put it on the floor. Don't put it on the floor. Thank you. Maggie's wiping sweat off daddy. <laughs> okay, babe, you go up. Hold on, baby, come over here. Stay over there. Come here, just in case the wheel. Come here, just in case the tire blows up. Come on. You gotta stay away from it. Get over here by a mommy. Shit. Oh, God. All right, guys, yeah, so now they're gonna check toe. Brad's here. Chris right. is over there. Yeah. 
Maggie's got a fan and water and she's obviously washing the race car. So all tired around the car. She's gonna sit on Jack's hands the rest of the week. Brad's getting fuel in the jug. I believe they've already filled the car up. And um, so we're ready to go this weekend. Plans are kind of up in the air. We're 90% sure about North Georgia. We thought it was gonna be a bigger race head, but turns out they're only playing their normal. Okay. Turns out they're only playing their, paying their normal 1200. So I don't know. It'll be either there or Mountain View for the Topless Outlaw Race. But we appreciate all of you guys watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Magnolia is wide open. Thanks to all of our partners, Ford Speed Performance Parts, Barry Apparel Co., KT Heating and Air, All Style Signs and Graphics by Baby Designs. Bye, <laughs> Fat Daddy's crew out of Lafayette, Indiana. Hammers, Graydon, Penske Racing Shocks, Vincent Racing, and Brand Transmission, and Gorsuch Performance. Thanks to all of those guys. I had to look at them there because he's got me all, all off. She didn't start acting like that until I turned the video camera off. But anyway, appreciate you guys.